In the first part on the series on the Nybase classifier, we will look at the intuition and the formula. We will see what is the Bayes theorem and from it how the Nybase model is derived, the pros and cons of the Nybase model and the variance. Consider a scenario where you find cobwebs in the house and you want to decide whether you want to clean the house or not. So what is the probability with which you will clean the house given that there are cobwebs? For this, we use the Bayes theorem for two events. What are the two events? One event is the presence of cobwebs. The second event is the cleaning. What is the probability that you will clean the house given there are cobwebs? Probability of A given B is equal to probability of B given A into probability of A divided by probability of B. This is the Bayes theorem where A and B are events and probability of A given B is called as the conditional probability. The Bayes theorem is for any two given events, but we have a problem of classification. So how do we convert the problem which has been given for two events into a problem of classification? The event that we are trying to figure out is the class and the event that it is dependent on is the feature. So what is the probability of the class occurring given the feature? Here y is the class and x is the feature. And probability of y given x is probability of x given y into probability of y divided by probability of x. You can see the similarity in the Bayes theorem for two events. Let us increase the complexity of the problem a little. So in the first scenario, we had one feature. Now we are going to consider two features. So we had a training set in which there were combinations of feature one and feature two. Feature one had one of the symbols given a bat or a ball or a, a skiing a shoe and the feature two had either sun or rain and there were combinations of feature one and feature two for sports. Similarly, there were combinations of feature one and feature two for celebration. Now a new image is given. What is the class? Let's look at the first example with a, a man with a bat and it is sunny. How do we find it using the Bayes theorem? What is the probability that it is sports given bat and sun? Similarly, what is the probability that it is celebration given bat and sun? Now, you get a value for probability of sports given bat and sun and for the probability of celebration given bat and sun and that probability which is the higher the image belongs to that class. In our example let us assume probability of sports given bat and sun had a probability of let's say 0.8 whereas probability of celebration given bat and sun was 0.2 then obviously the final class of the image would be sports. Similarly, let's take the second example, which is we have a small child with a balloon and it is sunny. So in that case, how do I figure out whether the class is sports or celebration? So I find the probability of sports given balloon and sun using Bayes theorem. Similarly, I find the probability of celebration given balloon and sun using Bayes theorem and the probability that is higher, the image belongs to that class. Up to now, we have seen the formula. Now let us dissect the formula and see what are the various parts. And in detail, let us see how to calculate the various parts on the right hand side of the formula. So the formula says probability of y is equal to a class given x is equal to a set of features. In the example, we had two features. Here I have generalizing it to include any number of features is equal to probability of 
x given y into probability of y divided by probability of x. Here, probability of y is equal to yc is called the prior. Probability of x given y is equal to yc is the likelihood. And p of x is called as the normalization constant. To understand the formula and to calculate the various parts of the formula, let us take an example. Assume you are given a image like this and you are asked to classify whether it is sports, politics or movies. The training set has five features, bat, ball, theater, celebration and tie and the possible values in each feature are yes or no. So the classes are sports, politics and movies given by Y1, Y2 and Y3. The features are bat, ball, theater, celebration and tie given by X1, X2, X3, X4 and X5. To predict the final class, we have to find three probabilities. One is the probability of getting class Y1, which is equal to sports, the probability of getting class Y2, which is politics, and the probability of getting Y3, which is movies. Probability of Y is equal to Y1, given X is equal to X1, X2, X3, X4, and X5, is given by probability of X given Y is equal to Y1, into probability of y is equal to y1 divided by probability of x. This directly follows from the Bayes theorem. Similarly, we calculate the probability for the class politics and movies. First, we look at the denominator which is called as the normalization constant. After getting the probability of class y1, y2 and y3, we compare the three probabilities. When we compare the three probabilities, the denominator is the same in all the three. It is independent of the class. So for the comparison purpose, it is essential if we use only the numerator and so we ignore the normalization constant. To calculate probability of x is equal to x1, x2, x3, x4, x5 given y is equal to a given class, if the features are dependent, that is if x1 to x5 are dependent, we need to know the nature of the dependence and if they are dependent variables, this whole calculation becomes very tedious. That is when the naive Bayes model comes into play. The naive Bayes model makes a small assumption that the features are independent. This simplifies the calculation of probability of x is equal to x1, x2, etc. up to xn given y as pi over i is equal to 1 to n probability of xi given y. I only need to multiply probability of x1 given y into probability of x2 given y etc. up to probability of x equal to xn given y. Once I get these three probabilities, I need to compare them. And that probability which is the highest denotes the class. To conclude, the naive Bayes classifier is given by probability of y is equal to yc given x is equal to x1, x2, etc. up to xn is proportional to pi over i from 1 to n probability of xi given y is equal to yc into probability of y is equal to yc. The next video has an example with which you will apply the formula and perform sentiment analysis. The advantages of using the naive Bayes model are that they are fast and so when the training time is critical, they are useful. When the resources like CPU and memory are limited, it's a good model to consider. When we have limited training data, when we want to handle continuous data and discrete data, we can make use of the naive Bayes model. And we need not make any modifications in the model when we want to perform binary classification or a multi-class classification. A major disadvantage of the naive Bayes model is the assumption of feature independence. And it might not be true in the real world that the features are independent of each other. A possible solution is the Bayesian network. 
Some of the types of naive base models are the Gaussian naive base used when the feature values are continuous. If you look at the example in the side, income is a continuous data. If the feature values follow a multinomial distribution, that is if we take the frequency of occurrence of the features, the feature values are discrete and we make use of the multinomial naive base. If we only look at the occurrence or non-occurrence of the features, then we follow a Bernoulli naive base. 